Hey, what is going on guys? Of course, my name is SMK. You can always just call me Steven. Welcome back to another Logitech C922 Pro Stream Webcam tutorial. In this tutorial, it's all about the actual background replacement they actually talk about on the box itself. Uh, it's actually from Personify. So this is the Personify background replacement that is pretty much exclusive to the Logitech C922. Uh, it's basically a software that cuts you out of the image without the need of having a green screen, a green painted wall, things of that nature. So it, it takes you out of the image to put you right where the action is with your live streaming or with your recording whatever content you're trying to make. So of course today's video is sponsored by Logitech and in this video you're going to be seeing how to set it up an XSplit broadcaster and an OBS studio. So hopefully I can help you out, get you guys started and just make you have a better idea of how this uh, software actually works with Logitech C922. So without further ado, let's get it going. All right, guys, so just a reminder, when you plug in uh, your C922 into your computer, uh, if you're on Windows 10, you should have a pop-up that appears on your desktop saying, like, hey, you can download the Personify Chroma Cam for the C922, which is the software that allows you to actually use uh, the background replacement um, in either XSplit, Broadcaster, and in OBS Studio. Uh, so again, if you do not see that pop up on your desktop, just go to the official uh, website for Logitech, go in the you know C922 support page and download the Personify uh, software so you can start using the background replacement, start messing with it. So again, of course, uh, the link's down below in the description for the link to the official website so you can download the software if you do not have it as a pop up on your desktop. But just a quick reminder to make sure uh, you guys download the software in order to actually use the software when it comes to trying it out and using it in XSplit Broadcaster and in OBS Studio. All right, guys, so for XSplit Broadcaster, you want to go into under Sources, Webcams, Capture Cards, and of course, add the Personify Chroma Cam for the C922. It takes a second to load up, but then there is the Personify window that will pop up as well. And then, hey, there's me. And of course, if you guys do not know, this camera, when you use the Personify software, it works at 720p, 30 frames per second. That's very important to remember. Now, in OBS Studio, it's just the same thing. You're going to add a source, and you're going to go and add a video capture device. And then you just have to select the Personify Chroma Cam for the C922 so um, regardless of what software you use, XSplit or OBS Studio, uh, the biggest thing to note is that every time you you know start up the camera, you'll have that Personify widget pop up that will allow you to have a transparent background, pick one of the default images they provide you, and or you can add your own image. But we'll talk more about that later in this video. But that's how you guys get it started uh, with the Personify Chroma Cam um, in XSplit Broadcaster and in OBS Studio. But now let's talk about just the general information you guys need to know about using this software. So the biggest thing is it gets updated and will be improved regularly by Personify. If you guys want to learn more about that, check out the links in the description for two different articles. One's from Personify, one is from Logitech. If you want more information or just have any questions more uh, about uh, the Personify Chroma Cam, of course, those links are in the description. Check them out if you want to learn more. So having good lighting is very important when it comes to using the Personify Chroma Cam uh, with the C922. The main reason why is the contrast between you and the background is very important with having good lighting because the software itself uses an algorithm to pinpoint where your head and where your shoulders are uh, and it does not focus on your hands or your arms so as long as your head and shoulders are clearly in the shot of the webcam uh, you're, you should be good to go the, and if you don't move around too much you're going to have a pretty good solid cutout of you um, from the background if you move around too much it's going to make it look like you have no hands and arms as you can see right here are these examples i'm showing you guys it just looks a little weird so again the best thing to do is to not move around a whole lot and make sure that your head and shoulders are clearly in the uh, webcam frame when you are setting up uh, your live stream and or if you're just making videos with the uh, camera. So a fun feature you guys can use is instead of using the default uh, background templates they give you with the Personify Chroma Cam software, you can actually add your own picture. So all you got to do is click the little plus icon, the Personify Chroma Cam software, pick the picture you want to add as a template. And then once you have it added, you can just click it. And then all of a sudden, bam, you have your own picture uh, that's that fits you that you really like instead of having the default, you know, background uh, templates to use. So if you want to actually use a background uh, with the Personify Chroma Cam, you can, you know, of course, upload your own picture and use it instead of the default ones they provide you. So if you use the chroma key option with the uh, Personify Chroma Cam um, and Expert Broadcaster and it'll be a studio, it allows you to uh, basically get rid of unwanted colors. So in my particular case, uh, I have the green wall behind me. And as you guys can tell, um, it's messing up my cutout of me with the Personify Chroma Cam software. So to get rid of it, I use a chroma key. I uh, set up the settings correctly. And now we have this super clean 
cut out of me and there's no random uh, green um, in the background. So it's great. And also when you use the uh, chroma key option, it puts like a white frame around you. So it makes you look even cleaner of a cutout because of the fact that it gets rid of unwanted things in the background when it comes to the certain colors and also puts this really nice frame around you that just makes things look really clean and really nice. So that's a really fun feature to mess with if you want to just, you know, try to find a better way to make the cutout look as clean as possible and also just make the presentation of it look just a little bit better. So the last thing I want to mention is also have a clean working area. Obviously, I just have my green wall, like I mentioned before, with the chroma key option that allows me to get rid of the unwanted green uh, in the cropping of me out of the background. And the biggest thing, too, is just having a clean background. It's like don't have any like huge boxes or like random pillows or something in the background because that's going to just make the software not work at its best. So having a clean background, no weird obscure things in the background is gonna help the software. Just make sure it just focuses on you and nothing else to give you guys the best quality uh, from the software. All right guys, let's do a quick little live demonstration of how to use the personified chroma cam background placement. Uh, so let's just get right to it. So the camera's been added, sweet. Um, obviously, if I want to have a transparent background, have a typical green screen look, we would click uh, the hide background. Now we have the typical green screen setup. Now, if we click on the pictures, we'll have different images behind us, of course. If you want to, again, add a picture, just add it yourself, whatever picture you want. Um, but like I said, um, so on this one, you can see that since I have my green wall, it doesn't really look all that clean because you can still see green. Again, like I showed you guys earlier in the video, if you do the whole chroma key options uh, on the webcam, you can get rid of... Um, all that unnecessary green, which is great. So now we have this really clean cutout of me, and you can see we have that outline of me now since we're using the chroma key, which is really, really nice looking, really clean, really sharp. Um, and another thing to notice that is uh, the frame rate is looking better because you may have seen the video being like, Steve, like, you know, the frame rate was kind of looking a little choppy. Well, there's a reason for that. So if you go into the, uh, the little gear settings right here, you can notice that there's a performance versus quality. And when you're on performance, you're gonna get more of a quality focus towards making the cutout of you the best it can be. So it's more focused on that versus the frame rate quality. If you want a smoother frame rate quality, um, you have to change it to quality. So we just whoop. And now you're gonna see that it's more fluid, it's more smooth. That's because when you change it from performance to quality, the quality is gonna give you the max FPS, which is 30 frames per second at 720p for the camera. So 720p, 30 frames per second is achieved by switching performance to quality uh, in the settings for the Personify application. So do that and you'll have the smoothest looking uh, software this can provide you and that's pretty much it. Um, that's obviously you, you make and choose how you want to use the personified chroma cam battery replacement in your own personal setup uh, in either expert broadcaster and it'll be at studio. But that's pretty much just a quick little live demonstration of how to apply everything you guys have learned uh, in this video in a live demonstration. All right, guys, so that's everything for the personified chroma cam background replacement. Of course, if you guys do not know, you know, this setup is not meant to replace a typical green screen. It, as I call it, it's a, an entryway level of having a green screen without having to spend more money because obviously getting green paint and getting green fabric, it costs, you know, some money. And after just buying the C922, you may be like, no, nah, I don't want to spend a little bit more money. I'm just not really feeling it. I get it. Money's tight. So the big thing here to take away from this is that with the background replacement, um, it does give you a, a green screen setup that allows you to have images behind you in your setup and also your own custom images as well. Um, you know, one, you know, not so great feature is it does raise your CPU usage a little bit. So that may not be an amazing, you know, feature that some of you guys may like, you may not like. So just note that that is the thing. It does, you know, use a little bit of CPU usage. You're going to see a spike increase because of, you know, how the software actually works to cut you out of the image. But, you know, it is what it is. That's how the software works. And obviously, you know, Personify is going to get better and better as time goes on. So again, leave those honest feedback questions and concerns in the comment section down below. And again, the, the FAQs and all the information we talked about earlier, those two links are also in the description. If you want to learn more about the Personify Chroma Cam background replacement, just how it is and like what's in store for the future. But that's pretty much everything I could talk about of how to set uh, the Personify Chroma Cam background replacement, how it works and just things you should look at when it comes to setting it up in your setup. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys learned something today and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. And uh, have yourselves an awesome day, of course. My name's SMK.
You can always call me Steven. See you later.